Hey, what's going on? How's everyone doing? It's uh, been a weird couple weeks. We've missed a few days here and there. Um, it hasn't been Cox's fault uh, most of those times. I know the company is trying to do this total fucking 180 on uh, how people view them, which does... It's a selfish move, but it's the smart selfish move. And our lines are actually getting regularly maintained, and most of them have been getting replaced over the past couple months. We fought with them for over a decade to get this done. And I like to think we had some small part in it. But anyway, right, there's been all sorts of other shit going on. Um, a lot of it just being too tired to stream. You know, I never used to say um, I never used to stop and stumble over my words like that. And nowadays I've done it enough intentionally to make it come naturally. Um, because honestly, I think it was off-putting that I never went ah uh, or um and lost my place in a sentence. It made me sound like a game show host. Like, uh, like Pat Sajak. Is he still doing Wheel of Fortune? Is he still doing Wheel of Fortune, Pat Sajak? That'd be fucking wild, right? He's got to be like 200 years old. It is masking. That's exactly right. How you doing, Beekeeper? Glad to have you. Okay, so let's, let's get into the actual game stuff. Real. Pat Sajak. That guy, he's got to be like 100 years old right now, right? He was um, doing it when I was born, if I recall. He's been, he's, if he's still doing Wheel of Fortune, that's, that's dedication. All right, let's see. There we go. Meg's Monster. Let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Uh, as you can see, I've got all the achievements. Um, they're slightly spoilery, so like, don't read them, I guess. And also, I need to get this going in a full screen. There we go. Beautiful. <clears throat> Friday, gonna step out for a few shortly to grab a shower, but wanted to catch the start of the dream. Hell yeah, well, thank you for that. Uh... Anyway, as you can see on the ticker, this, uh, this game deals with a lot of emotional shit. So if you gotta take care of yourself, any of you out there watching live or on YouTube or anything, um, take care of yourselves. We're trying to put the, uh, the ticker to be more helpful, I suppose. Let's do it. I have ongoing game data. I do because the game ended. Well, maybe there's more to the game than I thought. That'd be fucking wild, right? But we're gonna find out together. This game uses an autosave system. Progress will be automatically saved. That's part of the narrative. Anyway, I adore this game. I usually don't play through a game entirely and then immediately stream it, but this game did it for me. I finished it like four or five days ago and I want to do it again. Here it is, the lab they abandoned 20 years ago. If there are any answers out there as to why I feel so strange when I look up at that big red star, or these latent memories I can't seem to recollect. I feel like they must be hidden here. Sec. Turning the game volume down just slightly. And also turning me down just slightly because I peaked the mic. This looks good though. We're doing all the side quests and everything. As far as I know, I 100%ed this game in about 12 hours, so... I've always loved the night sky. But there's one star that shines brighter than all the others. And every time I gaze up at it, I get this funny feeling in my chest. I 
I remember this. It's faint, but... This is definitely the place. Nah, we're silly here. Hi, Bad Road. The research facility my mother worked at when I was a child. Mom never told me much about her job at the time. But I just had to know, so I did some research of my own. Into the giant red star that suddenly appeared in the sky back then. It's now been two weeks since an unidentified celestial body appeared in the night sky. As our top radiation analysts work around the clock to investigate its strange red light, they've released a new report stating that at this point in time, they cannot estimate what adverse effects it might have for those of us here on Earth. But unofficial reports seem to suggest a high concentration of waste within the star itself. That was 20 years ago too. Right before this lab shut down. Something big must have happened here back then. And I feel like I'm right on the cusp of remembering what. A transceiver. Looks like it's still got power, even. There should still be some recordings left on it, then. Can I play the most recent? So you need to come get Meg right now. You hear me? Oh boy. Sounds like you made quite the mess up there. It's hard to make out through all the static, but that voice... <sighs> Having played the game already, it lets me do the voice acting in the correct voices. So this is gonna be fun. Hmm. Where am I? Mommy? Hey, Roy. Think you got enough of that magic tar yet? Come on, let's blow this popsicle stand. Can you pipe down, Golan? See, this is why I told you you didn't have to tag along. Ah, uh, don't be like that. Buds like us gotta stick together, don't we? Hmm? Mommy? Hey, mister. Where's my mommy? How the heck should I know? Dude, what's with the kid? That's a human, bro. Oh. Right, you never seen one before, have you? They wind up down here from time to time. Pretty rare to see one so young, though. It's like it's our lucky day, huh? We just scored ourselves a free meal. <laughs> what do you say, Roy? Feel like splitting her half and half? Think I'll pass, man. This magic tar is all the food I need. Seriously, bro, I don't know how you can eat that nasty sludge, if you say so. Now then, don't mind if I... <laughs> ah! Huh? Whoa, what the? Why is it so hot all of a sudden? Feels like I'm on fire! What the hell's going on? Hey, kid, c calm down, will ya? It was a joke, alright? I was just. I was just kidding around. Come on, kiddo. There, there. <laughs> What was that all about? Hey, what? Get off me! Uh -huh. 
Yep, no doubt about it. Something smells real tasty right around here. Aha! Jackpot! What the hell do you want? See, my nose never lies. I just followed that yummy scent and sure enough. Yummy scent? Oh, no you don't. You ain't getting any of this magic tar. What? But... Uh, but I only care about the no buts, beat it, shrimp. Spot appeared. Dang it, there's no reasoning with this guy. Guess I got no choice. <laughs> if you don't want to share, then I guess we'll just have to tussle. But the, uh, the, the heck? Can't even put a dent in this guy. What the heck? How strong is this guy? I gotta go tell the boss. Uh, serves him right for trying to steal my magic tar. Pretty sure that's not what he was after, bro. Ah, damn it, not again. Hey, mister, can you help me find my mommy? I already told you I don't know where your damn mommy's at, kid. Now, if you don't get off me in the next five seconds, I'll... Ha hang on, Roy. Take it easy. She won't let go, dude. It's pissing me off. And how would a little girl ever latch onto a big old brute like you, Roy? Guess we got no choice. If she refuses to let go, then I guess we'll just have to take her home with us for now. Say what? You can't be serious, right? Just shut up and go along with it, okay? If she starts crying again, I think we might have a much bigger problem on our hands. <laughs> Underworld. As you can see, it shows up us up there at the top. And these are all our destinations, of which there's only one. And this is the menu. Not much to it yet. That'll fill out as we go. Is this where you want to go? I think it is. Oh, uh, actually, let me catch up with you guys. Be there in a sec. What, again? You know, for a guy who's always tags along everywhere I go, you sure bail on me a lot. Yep, no doubt about it. As soon as that human kid started crying, that's when it happened. I see. The symptoms you're describing definitely align with the critical response we predicted. You made the right call trying to calm her down ASAP. Good work. Thanks. So, uh, what am I supposed to do now? If the child really is developing an attachment, like you say, I don't think it's a good idea to try to forcibly extract her, let alone eliminate her. If the subject were to go critical in its current state, there's no telling the sheer devastation that might ensue. It's beyond our ability to predict. Yeah, well, what are we supposed to do? A little kid, she can't cry? Get real! In case you forgot, people don't take kindly to humans down here. As long as Roy keeps the girl safe, it shouldn't be too difficult. Come on, man. Why don't we just do this the easy way? All we gotta do is get rid of little brat before she even has a chance to cry. And... No, I don't think that's a good idea. At this point in time, the idea that the criticality response is a direct result of her crying is nothing more than a hypothesis. It could be any noise that that specific pitch might trigger it, or it could be something else entirely, like uh, the frequency of her brain waves. And there's always the possibility that there's another factor at work here that we haven't even considered yet. For now, let's try to be extremely careful not to do anything that might provoke her, just to be safe. Ugh. So how y'all doing? Good to have you. Here we are with Meg's monster. 
Well, we made it back home. But I still don't know what to do with this little runt. Where the hell is Golan when you need him? Ah, uh, whatever. I'm sure he'll show up eventually. I guess I'll just eat some magic tar in the meantime. Hey, mister. What do you want? Keep it down, will ya? Hey, mister. What's your name? You want some of that magic tar? <laughs> I'm not sure you do. <laughs> My name? Don't got one. I mean, I guess Golan calls me Roy, but I don't know where the hell he got that. Roy, huh? Nice to meet you, Roy. My name's Meg. Oh, kid, I literally do not care. Roy, huh? Okay, nice to meet you, Roy. Okay, that's the same dialogue again. Hey, Roy. Oh, what is it this time? Can you please shut up for five seconds? Where are we right now? We're inside my house. This is your house? But there's nothing in it. Oh, put a sock in it, will ya? I already hear that enough from Golan as it is. It's my house. I can furnish it as much or as little as I want. But don't you need stuff to play with sometimes? Don't you ever get bored? Play with? The hell does that mean? And no. As long as I got my magic tar, I don't need anything else. Magic tar? Yeah, it's a kind of food. You don't know anything, do you? Hey, Roy. Would you shut up already? I am trying to eat over here. <laughs> I'll give you further instructions down the line as necessary. Until then, just try your best to keep things under control. We'll talk again. We'll talk again soon. Or is it never going to get to eat, right? Damn it. Would you shut up already? I'm trying to eat over here. Oh, crap. This ain't good. Hey, cool your jets, Roy. Don't start yelling at her. You think she's some sort of harbinger of ruin? Yep. And that her tears will call forth the end of the world. Yep. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. You can't seriously believe that, right? Come on, man. You felt it too earlier, didn't you? The world was totally about to end. You were freaking out. Hey, kid, you're not some harbinger of ruin or whatever, are you? I don't think so. I'm just Meg. I'm looking for my mommy. Yeah, well, I don't know what to tell you, kid. We ain't seen your mom. Hey, I know. What do you say we help the kid find her old lady? Huh? Why in the hell should that be our responsibility? I mean, all we gotta do is make sure she doesn't start crying, right? Then why don't we just rip her head off or something before she even knows what hit her? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out, big guy. Look, I know I said it was probably her tears that would call forth the end of the world, but what if it was just, you know, an initial hypothesis or whatever? It could be something else entirely. Like, I don't know, maybe it's her voice or her uh, b -b uh, brain waves. Uh, anyway, I'm just saying, there are other possibilities to consider. So I don't think it is a good idea to mess with her until we know for sure. For now, let's just do as she asks and try our best not to set her off. See what I'm saying? Because if we don't, she might start trying to call forth the end of the world again. Now you're getting it. Ugh. I mean, it really did feel like I was about to die back there. See, exactly. It's the only option we got, bro. Hey, kid. You said you're looking for your mom, right? Anything you can tell us about her? Something that might help point us in the right direction? Well, um, I have a photo of her. A photo? What? Ugh, I guess I dropped it. 
So you were chasing after your mom, and then he ended up down here. Do you remember how you got here? Well, um, I don't know. How do we know where to start looking if she doesn't even know where she came from? Okay, how about this? Assuming her mom got lost and wandered down here before her, then maybe someone else already found the kid's mom. What do you say we head into town and do some asking around? See if anyone's seen any humans lately. Oh, if someone did find her, I think the odds of her not being eaten already are pretty slim. What's this? What do you mean? It's magic tar. Obvious. Tastiest stuff in the whole damn world. That's, uh, for debate, I think. There they are. Huh? What do you guys want? Hey, pal! So my buddy here tells me you two had a little bit of a spat. <laughs> yeah, come on, boss. Beat him up already. Though, to be honest, I couldn't care less about any of that. The <laughs> boss But you see, he also told me you fine folks have got yourself a tasty-looking human child. <laughs> And my buddy and I, we ain't never had the chance to taste a young one before, you see. Truth be told, we was kind of hoping you'd be willing to share a few bites with us, you see. <laughs> so what do you say? Mind if we join in the feast? We can't let them eat her, Roy, but you knew that already. We're not eating this one. Say what? Well, suit yourselves. I guess it is a little too gamey for some folks. In that case, we'd be happy to take her off your hands for you. Sorry, no can do. Listen, I know this might sound hard to believe, but if anything bad happens to this kid, the world might literally come to an end. That's the funniest thing I've heard all week. I get that y'all don't want to share, but was that really the best excuse you could come up with? <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> but fair enough. You do not want to share, that's fine, because I got a better idea, you see. <laughs> Me and my buddy, we'll just take the damn kid by force. How's that sound? Sorry, Roy. No, I can't fight to save my life. Maybe you're gonna have to protect her all on your own. Ah, fine! Come get some, you damn punks! Spud and Jason. Oh, he slugged me good. Boss, help me out here. Boss! Pipe down, you! Learn to fend for yourself! <laughs> He's way tougher than he looks! See? I told ya! The big guy's tough as nails! But the little brat's looking kinda nervous! What do you say we make her cry? Roy will protect Meg as he fights, so any the attacks won't hit her. However, her heart will still take damage from seeing Roy get hurt. When this bar hits zero, it's game over. It's no use! He's too dang strong, boss! This can't be! <laughs> I might have to find a new sidekick! Yeah, that didn't, is the thing. Damn! So the actual problem is Meg's morale, not Roy's health. Exactly! Roy's attack and defense increase. Meg's heart has gotten stronger. Nice going, bro. I knew you'd wipe the floor with those scrubs. Heck, I've seen you handle way worse than them in all the years I'd known you. Damn, that was annoying. It's a hell of a lot harder to fight when you gotta babysit a small child at the same time. 
Hey, no. Don't start crying again. Hey, Colin. Looks like the damn kid's about to start crying again. What do I... What, what, what do I do? Hey, 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 hey. No, no. Cut it out, damn it. What do you expect, bro? In a world full of monsters, humans ain't nothing more than a meal. Even the ones that don't eat them still despise the human race and everything it stands for. I knew this was going to be tricky, but if we can't even step outside the house without getting attacked, it might be tougher than I thought. Maybe we ought to go look for a little something to keep her pacified before heading into town. Like what? Well, I'm not speaking from personal experience or nothing, but I heard up in the human world they got these little things called toys, right? And apparently, all you gotta do is give one of these toys to a kid and it'll shut them right up. They can't get enough of the damn things. Whoa. It almost sounds too good to be true. But what even are they, and where would we find one? Got any ideas? It's me. Maybe they're kind of like that magic tar of yours. God knows that's the only thing that can keep you pacified. Or just feed her some magic tar and see if that works. Uh, no way, dude. Even I can't handle more than one little glug of that stuff without gagging. Anyway, if it's stuff in the human world we're looking for, and there's only one place to go. The salvage yard, you mean? Where stuff from the human world comes tumbling down for whoever finds it first. You know, there's more than just one of those places, right? Of course I do. Heck, even the place we found the kid was technically a salvage yard. Speaking of stuff from the human world, what's with that bracelet you got on? That thing can't be from down here. Pick that up from a salvage yard, too? Ah, uh, this old thing? Y yeah, I guess you could say that. Anyway, let's take the kid over to that other one and see if there's anything she might like. Yeah, I gotcha. Sounds like a plan. I can grab some more magic tar while we're there, too. You wanna eat that sludge? That's your prerogative. Just don't feed it to the kid, alright? I heard stories about some fella named Roy who lived on the outskirts of town and ate nothing but magic tar. <laughs> also heard that he knew how to hold his own in a fight. Guess they must have been talking about you, huh? <laughs> Please don't kill us. Hi, Underworld Council HQ. Now. Without further ado, I hereby call this monthly council meeting to order. I, Gustav, shall now present my findings to the floor. Regarding this Paul fellow about whom we speak at length, spoke at length in our last meeting. My independent investigation has determined that there is exceedingly little risk of him violating the neutrality. As such, I would submit to the council that no further action is necessary at this time. <laughs> How many times can you independently investigate the same human before you get bored? That's just wondering. What are you saying? Any human living in our domain must be periodically checked up on to ensure that there are no potential violations of... Ugh, yeah, yeah, just forget I said anything. Now then, your turn, Nancy. Give us your report. Not much to report on my end. Very well. When? <laughs> oh, uh, nothing for me either. I see. Elder Sebastian, have you anything to discuss? <laughs> it appears the Elder has nothing of import either. Well then. If no one has anything to discuss, then I suppose we can call this meeting a June. <laughs> hey, have you, why have you turned the lights off? 
Can't you see we're trying to have a meeting here? Forgive me, sir. I have an urgent report. Word on the street is that a monster has been seen walking around with a human kid. Almost like some kind of pet. Guy goes by the name Roy, from what I'm told. Anyway, I just thought I should report it immediately, given the extremely unusual circumstances. Well now, a human, you say? Understood. Good work, soldier. You may return to your post. Yes, sir! Wait! Don't forget to turn the lights back off on your way out. We can't very well have a council meeting without a dark and brooding atmosphere, you know. Uh, yes, sir! I like their no-ghost sign in the corner. Wow, an actual human child, huh? Lucky, been a while since we last saw one of them. <laughs> this is no time for giggling, Nancy. If this Roy fellow were to violate the neutrality pact, do you have any idea what the repercussions of that might be? But, I mean, you're gonna go take care of it, right? Like you always do? But of course, I believe a swift response is warranted, given the circumstances. I gotta say, I'm a little bit curious myself. <laughs> like, how crazy do you have to be to keep a human as a pet, you know? Indeed. Elder Sebastian, have you any thoughts on this matter? <laughs> um, Gramps? <laughs> Huh? What is the matter, Elder? We must hear your opinion. My opinion? Oh, right. I, my opinion. Huh? Well, let's see here. I had to say, I think you guys have got the right idea. Yep. Ah, so you agree that this would be prudent to take swift action on this. <laughs> yep. Call to take action. Always good to be prudent. Yes, sir. Ah. And we cannot stand idly by while one of our own cavorts around is a human. <laughs> Arden? What human? <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, you betcha. And have that. <laughs> no, sir. Let us all try to investigate this matter before we next meet. We must ascertain why this monster is supposedly harboring a human child and to what end. And whether or not there is any risk of him violating the neutrality pact. And on that note, I believe we can call this meeting adjourned. Okay, everyone. Let's bring it in for our usual team huddle. Um, can we please not? <laughs> I'm surprised my snores made it past the filter. I watched the, uh, the, the OBS there just to be sure. All right, now we can head over to a salvage yard. Sparklies. You know what sparklies mean in an RPG, don't ya? Hey, check it out. What do you think this is? Didn't tell you. Hey kid, does this look like fun to you? Um, is it a DVD? Does it have cartoons on it? DVD? Cartoons? I don't know what those words mean, but I'm guessing this ain't what we're looking for. How about this? Is this a toy? Seriously, bro? You don't know what that is? And you gotta stop eating nothing but magic tar all the time. And you recognize this thing? Yeah, man, it's called a fish, though that one's already half eaten. They're not just human food. Some monsters eat them too. 
Oh, so it's a type of food. Hey kid, you wanna eat this? Nah. -uh. Huh? Looks like something else fell down. Okay. How about this? Oh, no way. It's a toy rocket ship. Jackpot. So that's what a toy looks like. That's a rocket ship. They go whoosh and fly up in outer space. Outer space? Yeah, like where all the stars and planets are at. What's she talking about? Sounds like it's some kind of vehicle that can take you to this outer space place. Dang, Roy, I'm surprised you managed to understand all that. So how do they work? Like, like this? Nuh-uh. Rocket ships gotta go up high into the sky. Like this? Yeah, yeah. Oh, she's having a blast already. These toys really are something. Maybe we can use that thing to calm her down or she looks like she might start crying in the middle of a fight. Hey, what do you assholes think you're doing? This is my turf. Who said you could just waltz into my salvage yard? I don't know who you think you are, but I'm going to teach you a lesson that you will never forget. Oh, yeah. It's like we got trouble on our hands. Hey, look on the bright side. This could be the perfect opportunity to test out that toy we just found. Territorial Punk appeared. You guys are dead meat. Take this. By using the toys command, Roy can refill Meg's health ball. Note that each toy can only be used once per battle. Meg's health falls to zero, it's game over, so be sure to make good use of it. Hey, asshole! You stole that thing from my turf, didn't you? This ain't your turf, pal. Fine, if that's how you want to play. Territorial Punk started digging through the scrap. Territorial Punk dug up a box cutter from the scrap. Territorial Punk starts slashing a li starts slashing it around wildly. Whoa! Oh, I see how it is. Maybe I can find something to use around here too. Roy tried digging through the scrap. Found a soccer ball. Shot the ball at the enemy. Territorial Punk started digging through the scrap. Oh right, there's no harm in doing that because they'll punch even if you scavenge and don't find anything. Dug up an electric drill from the scrap, but something I missed what it said. Found a sturdy stick. Wow, what a nice stick. Sturdy, but easy to swing. He's scoring the scrap heap very carefully. Oh yeah, I got a good feeling about this one. Sometimes enemies will use more powerful attacks than usual. Oftentimes these attacks will be signaled one turn in advance. If you sense oncoming danger, use guard to protect yourself. Dug up a spiked bat from the scrap. Swung hard with the spiked bat. Wait, I'm the spiked bat. Found a sturdy stick. So I'm supposed to guard now. There we go. Use the soccer ball, barely hurt me. Normal attack. There we go. Almost there. Oh, box cutter. Found some canned food. What's this? Is it even edible? Opened the can and fed it to Meg. Luckily, it hadn't expired yet. Just like in Final Fantasy XIV, you have to fight territorial monsters for treasure. Yep. This is exactly Final Fantasy XIV. Alright, now we 
guard. Electric drill, but he couldn't figure out how to use it. That's what it said. Sturdy stick. And we end with, with Magina in perfect spirits because she got to eat spam. Damn, I hate to admit it, but you're a better scavenger than me. Ugh, guess this turf belongs to you now. Here's the deed to the land. Take it. Wait, so it really was his turf? Roy can now use Super Punch. Risby, what are you barking at? One sec. Let me check what Risby's barking at. What are you yelling about, baby? What's going on? They call adverse possession real estate law and that's true i don't know why the box cutter could cut roy that's really weird right well i guess that's that we got what we came for guess we better head into town and ask if anyone's seen another human lately i'm tired excuse me how can you be tired when i'm the one who did all the work come on now roy simmer down you don't want to make meg start crying again gotta remember that humans have weak little bodies compared to you and me, especially the kids. Guess we'll just head home for the night. We can go ask around town tomorrow. From this day forward, this turf belongs to you. Good. That totally mattered to me. Hey, there's that soccer ball we found. Come on, Roy, let's play. What? Hell no. Pipe down and go to sleep. Play with me. Damn it, man. She's just gonna start tearing up again if I don't, huh? <laughs> Ugh, fine. But only for a little while. You got that? Let's see here. Are you got anything good to play with in this house? There's that thing we brought back from the salvage yard. I think it's called a soccer ball. Something peanuts about the music, I know, right? Also, welcome back. Hmm, I see. So you just kick it around, I guess. Okay, Roy, you stand over there. All right. Here it comes. Just gotta kick it, right? Begging your pardon. Hmm, I see. I don't suppose you're this Roy fellow I... How to get that accent back. <clears throat> I don't suppose you're this Roy fellow I've been hearing about. So what if I am? Allow me to introduce myself. You may call me Gustav. You received a report that you've been harboring a human child. This is a most unusual case, so I was hoping to inquire as to what you intend to do with her. Sure, whatever. But as you can see, we're kind of in the middle of a, a thing right now. Gonna wait till after we're done? Oh, pardon me. My apologies, good sir. In that case, I shall stand here and wait until you are finished. Ah, all right. Let's get our heads back in the game. Here it comes, Meg. Goodness! 
Yes! You have a mighty strong kick, sir. But you must be more careful. If that had hit the girl, it would have ended very badly indeed. And it's, it's hard to control the amount of force I've been. Wow, Roy, that was cool. But I can't even see where the ball went. Hurry not. Allow me to go and fetch it for you. Gustav is such a lovable weirdo. Thanks. Not at all. Okay. This time I'll get it right. Remember, don't just kick it as hard as you possibly can. <laughs> no, no. You need to learn to have more control over the ball. And this is way too tough. I'll go get the ball. No, don't! What's the matter? Children must never go running out on the road, especially not to chase after a straight ball. A straight... Especially not after a stray ball. You must first look both ways to ensure there is no oncoming cars. Oncoming what now? Um, my apologies. I'm not quite sure what came over me just now. Well then, I suppose I won't bother you two anymore for today. The hell was that guy's deal? This is too tough, and it's a thing that humans do for fun, yep. Now we have the soccer ball, officially. Fun day later. Green icons are a side quest. Pressing the main story might cause some of these events to disappear, so we always do these immediately. Look who's back! Uh, shouldn't I be the one saying that to you, pal? I thought you said this is my turf now. Yeah! Oh, come on! Don't be like that! The guy's gotta find stuff to eat somehow, right? Well, he's got a point there. Not everyone can just gorge themselves on magic tar like you, bro. Yeah, whatever. So you're back here looking for food, huh? Yeah, mostly food. Maybe something I could sell for a quick buck in town. Don't say. Oh! Oh my god! What is it? Oh, we just fell down. We got us a human, boys! Um... Meg, why don't you look the other way for a while? Huh? But why? Just do it. Uh, he here, take these. Oh, hey, crayons! Yeah, take these and go draw something over there, will ya? Okay. Whoa, so that's what a human looks like, huh? I guess it's kind of the same shape as her, though I feel like it's a whole lot bigger. Okay, come to Papa! Wait, where are you dragging that thing off to? Gonna take it into town and try to sell it, duh. Obviously, they're worth more alive, but this one's in pretty good shape still. Should still fetch a high price. Wait, don't tell me. I already know what you're gonna say. You're right. This is your turf now, I suppose. Fine. I guess this corpse is rightfully yours. Nah, we don't want it. You can have it. Just go. Oh, seriously? Wait. Wh why? I mean, couldn't we just sell it for cash ourselves? Just let him have it, bro. If we keep that thing, it's gonna make Meg cry. Think? Yeah, man. It's all yours. Well, really? Thanks! Ugh. <sighs> 
We gotta be more careful to not let Meg see anything too messed up down here. And humans are complicated. Hey kid, come on, we're leaving. Okay. Hey, what's this? That's my mommy. Oh, wow. So this is who we've been looking for. Say, she looks a lot dorkier than I expected. No, she doesn't. He's Roy, seriously? I mean, look at her, dude. Uh, she's not dorky. Stop it, Roy. You better apologize before she starts crying. Take it back. Hey, Freya. Hey, come on, kid. Don't get all upset. I didn't mean it like that. In fact, on second look, she's actually very, uh... Say she's very pretty. Yeah, that's what I meant. She's a very pretty lady. Isn't she? Yeah, totally. That was close. Alright, no more side quests available. It's trippy that the arrow bounces on this one, but the sign bounces on this one. I'm just noticing that. That feels very strange. Are you headed out? Indeed, I must lend an ear to the needs of my people, while also keeping a keen eye out for any neutrality pact violators. Good on you, sir. Be safe out there. Mr. Roy, fancy running into you here. <laughs> Seen any humans around here? Humans? Other than that little girl there, you mean? Uh, nope, can't say I have. Sorry, I can't be of much help. But take it from me, mister. I don't think it's a real good idea to go around keeping humans for pets, capiche? You know, folks don't take kindly to humans down here after all. But why do we hate humans? What do you mean, why? Obviously, it's because, um, kind of think of it, I actually don't remember. Listen, pal, even if us little guys might be willing to look the other way, that don't mean the council's just going to turn a blind eye to it. The council? What? You mean you don't even know who the council are, mister? They're like the four supreme rulers of the underworld, pretty much. I ain't never met a guy who lives down here that's never even heard of the council before. But if they find out you're walking around being all buddy-buddy with a human, they're probably gonna have some choice words for you, just FYI. Now wait, who are you again? Whoops, no, I want to say, who are you again? I actually avoided doing this on my first playthrough, so I'm gonna be rude. Who are you again? We came by your place yesterday, remember? We were all like, hey, let us eat that little girl you got there and whatnot. Sorry about that little fiasco. <laughs> but you'll be happy to know I've turned over a new leaf. If there's anything I can do to make it up to you, just let me know. <laughs> huh, okay. I expected a, uh, an angry reaction. Hey, pal, can I get you something to eat? Seen any humans around here? Heck, you're walking around with one right now. You saving her for emergency rations or what? But no, I haven't seen any other humans around these pots lately. They don't even come falling down here very often, you know? That's why you can sell them for big bucks if you're lucky enough to capture one. All right, give me some magic tar. Magic tar? You think I've just got a bucket of that lying around? Do you seriously eat that stuff? I mean, to each their own, I guess, but man, sure seems crazy to me. Why, hello there! Might I assist you with anything? Seen any humans around here? 
Humans? Ah, I think there's really only one human I see on a regular basis. Who's that? A man by the name of Paul. As you know, most humans who are unfortunate enough to end up down here, well, they don't last long before getting gobbled up, to put it bluntly. <laughs> However, there is one man who's been a great help to us all, and has thus been given a free pass. As it were. He helps us out. Oh, all the time! You know, the countless human devices that are always falling down into our salvage yards, of course. He often helps repair them back into working condition and even teaches us how to use them properly. Oh, a butterfly! He's helped me out personally on more than a few occasions. Why, the other day, he, re he repaired a device for me that converts cold water into boiling hot water! Ah, but I'm afraid that one's not for sale, just to be clear. Sorry for the disappointment. So, where can we find this guy? Oh, my apologies. I'm afraid I don't know where he lives. What? You just said he helps you out all the time. Only when he happens to come through town, I'm afraid. And there's really no telling when he might show his face again. Though if you really need to know where the man lives... Word on the street is that the council's been digging around about him in recent weeks. So perhaps they might be privy to that information. What do you say, Roy? Should we just pop up here till he comes... Should we just post up here till he comes by? I don't know, man. That sounds like a huge pain in the ass. I just want to get this over with so we... Hey, what happened to the kid? She's not here. Ah, uh, ah, oh, you're right. Shoot. I swear, she better not be off getting ready to cry somewhere. No time to talk right now. We've got to find the kid before she starts crying. So you don't have any ladders for sale here, then? Come on, Hoss. That's what I've been telling you this whole time. Huh? Where'd she go, little butterfly? Oh, what do we have here? Hey, I remember you. You're that human kid. <laughs> Ah, yes. I've met her, too. She's the little girl who's been living with that Roy fellow. Roy? Wait, where's Roy? Well, well, well. <laughs> you lost, little girl? Or did he abandon you? Too bad. It looks like there's no one to stop me from eating you now. <laughs> no, Faith. I have some questions for the child. I'm afraid I must ask you to come with me, little one. Hey, there she is. Oh, crap, she's totally about to start crying. Hang on, Roy, maybe you shouldn't get too close. Hey, kid, come on, don't cry, nothing to cry about, see? Roy? Oh, that was close. Don't go wandering off by yourself like that, you scared the hell out of me. Roy, you came. Goodness, Roy. It seems that you and that human have grown quite attached. Huh? Oh. You're that guy from yesterday. No, I ain't like that, man. Thing is, this kid cries. Hey, Roy, this is Gustav, bro. He's a member of the council. Watch your words. Huh? Oh, for real? You're a council member? Hey, you know where this Paul guy lives? Could you tell us? He wished to speak with Paul. Interesting. How about this then? I know not what business you might have with Paul, but I neglected to ask you what your true intentions were yesterday as well. 
So, I propose a duel. If you win, I will tell you Paul's whereabouts. But if I win, you and the child will accompany me to our headquarters and tell me everything I want to know. Huh. Okay, deal. Dude, are you sure about this? I mean, Gustav's the only council member I know, so I don't know who else we could ask either, but... People say he's the toughest monster there is, bro. He sure as hell looks like it, too. What are you two mumbling about? Enough talk! How about you? You like, the, you like the Castlevania reference they did there? You like that Symphony of the Night shit? That's... that's classic fucking gaming right there. Gustav appeared. Once you've learned a few different types of attacks, you'll be able to select one after choosing attack. Keep in mind that more powerful attacks cost more SP. You'll gain 1 SP for each turn you don't use an attack that costs SP. Rocket ship! Boom! Just keep on hitting him. Soccer ball! He defends specifically to let you use the toys is the thing. Which I think is really interesting and speaks to the kind of person he is. Hmm, Valroy. It seems I owe you an apology. Ah, for what? It appears that I underestimated your abilities. It has been quite some time since I last faced off against a proper opponent, you see. If we both unleash our true power here in public, there's no telling what might happen. So perhaps we should call it a draw for now. He won the battle. I forgot to change my overlay. That's okay. Wait, what? You're just gonna throw in the towel? Eh, I don't mind. I will tell you where Paul lives, just as we agree. And with that, I will now take my leap. I'm sure our paths will cross again. Just do me a favor and stay out of trouble until then. <laughs> that guy hardly even broke a sweat. Yeah, well, look on the bright side. At least we got the info we was looking for. We found Meg, too. Two birds with one stone. Now, what do you say we go pay this Paul a visit? Crispy, get off the door. You're being a butt. Hey. Hey, chill out, cutie. Crispy, chill out, okay? Hi. Do you want to get up here with me? Do you want to get on the couch? This is dog stream. If you want up, you can come up. Okay. All right, if you don't, that's fine too. Now, what do you say we pay this Paul guy a visit? <laughs> wow, did you really just beat Lord Gustav? <laughs> Remind me to never pick a fight with you again. Oh yeah, don't even bother trying to get a word out of him. Your guy's been checked out ever since he went into the flower fields. 
flower fields? Yeah, you know, the ones just outside of town. <laughs> Folks always been talking about hearing strange voices there or seeing hallucinations. And if you're really unlucky, you end up like this guy here. Nowadays, ain't nobody in their right mind who'd go within 10 feet of the place. Everyone knows it's bad news. Surprised you don't actually. But if you value your sanity, then steer clear, you hear? Checked out. Yeah, doesn't say a word. Not sure he even thinks. Almost like his mind or his soul has checked out from his body and gone somewhere else. Howdy. Ain't seen your face around these parts before. Don't normally do business with folks I don't know, but I probably would have been stuck dealing with Gustav all night if y'all ain't shown up. So I guess I owe you one. Anything I can do for you folks, just say the word. Oh, Meg's mom. You're looking for that little girl's mom? Sorry, don't think I can help you with that. What is this place? Just a little back alley mercantile dealing in wares you can't find nowhere else, if and you catch my drift. Though, of course, we don't got nothing illegal here. Perish the thought. Whoa. That big lug? He's one of them council members that calls the shots. I hear there's four of them in total, but I only know Gustav. Yeah, same. I don't think I've even heard of the others. Well, he's a big old brute and sticks out like a sore thumb. I was out patrolling the town and investigating stuff to make sure we're all on the up and up. Gets annoying though, I tell ya. Keep trying to accuse me of hiding a ladder here. Ladder? Yeah, you know, those things that you climb up. But why would the higher-ups ever need to impose regulation on one of those things? <laughs> Beats me. It ain't just ladders, though. Ropes, grappling hooks, pretty much anything that helps you move upward. They control with layers and layers of red tape. Gotta file like four separate applications to legally own one, and, that, and that's if you get approved. <laughs> well, shoot, I can't read or write, so I guess there goes my chances. So, do you have a ladder? Ah, fuck. <laughs> As I was saying, so do you have a ladder? Don't tell nobody, you got that? He has contraband. There she is. All right, so. Something I forgot to put on the overlay here is there's references to child molestation coming up. It's kind of a misunderstanding, but it is there. And I guess that falls under child abuse, but it's, uh, this one's, uh, rough in a point that's supposed to be at least partially humorous. I finally found her. All right. Well, now we're going to head over to Paul's house. What a weird house, man. Does someone seriously live here? Yo, what? Ah, that's cold. What even is this stuff? Visitors detected. One human, two monsters. Situation unclear. Please stand by. What's this guy's deal? In a monster, that's for sure. Is he a human? Hey, buddy. Are you Paul? Nah, man. That thing's not a human. It's not? Hey, listen. We're here to see Paul. Is he in that room behind you? Step aside, would ya? Intruders uncooperative. Hostility detected. Huh? Intruders may pose imminent danger to... Paul. 
proceeding with threat elimination protocol. And here we go, weird robot appeared. Firing laser beam. It was just a squirt gun, but it still packed a punch. Firing missiles. The weird robot threw whatever it could find lying around. <laughs> oh, fuck, I forgot about this silliness. Activating Spiral Cutter. It was just a series of fast-paced karate chops. Hooray! Rocket ship! Firing laser beam. Firing missiles. Soccer! Activating Spiral Cutter. Firing Laser Beam. Unable to damage target. Engaging self-destruct system. Wait, what? Starting countdown. Five. Hey, stop! Joey, what do you think you're doing? Leave our guests alone. Understood. Weird Robot ceased combat maneuvers. Who won the battle? I'm married to a Weird Robot. It's great. What the hell was that all about? My name is Joey. Nice to meet you. I apologize for attacking you. It is extremely unusual for humans and monsters to travel together, so I misinterpreted the situation. Again, very sorry about that. It seems I can't stop making mistakes these days. Why, just the other day, Paul had hung his laundry to dry, and I mistook it for trash and threw it all away. Haha! <laughs> I was designed to be a helper robot for your information, yet it appears I am quite defective. My apologies. This guy sure talks a lot. By way of apology, might I interest you in a cookie? A cookie is a small biscuit made by mixing together sugar, butter, and flour. No thanks, I'm good. Maybe, maybe next time. Sorry about my little helper robot, guys. Though I'm not sure we've met before. What brings you to my humble abode? I also love that about cookies. A harbinger of ruin, eh? I'll admit, that all sounds pretty fantastical to me. But you said she's looking for her mom, right? Hmm. Got any leads for us, old man? I don't think I do. I'm tired. Again? That doesn't surprise me. The atmosphere down here really isn't great for us humans. In fact, it's actually extremely bad for our health. Stay down here too long and well... But you're a human too, right? You look fine to me. Yes, well, that's because I designed this house to be relatively inhabitable for us. Which I suppose begs the question, would you consider leaving that girl here with me? Huh? I assume that walking around with a human is only going to cause problems for you guys after all. How about it? Huh. Well, when you put it that way... Hey kid, you wanna stay here with this old guy? Um, I want to stay with you, Roy. Uh, why, though? I mean, wouldn't you be better off staying with another human? Damn, bro, sounds like she likes you more than her own kind. 
We sure found ourselves a weird one, didn't we? Hmm, I see. That's too bad. Well, okay then. The sound of a glass jar scraping across wood is so nostalgic for me, and I don't know why. Let me give you this at least. It's a special kind of medicine. Give her one of these each day. It's not a miracle drug, mind you. It just helps your body cope with the symptoms. It might also stop being as effective after a while, so just be aware of that. My name's Paul, by the way. I'm here pretty much all the time. If you ever do feel like leaving the kid in my care, feel free to stop by and drop her off anytime. My name is Joey. I apologize. Yeah, same, same thing. Same dialogue. If both she and her mom fell down into the underworld very recently, she must be Hannah's kid. I can't tell her anything when those monsters are around. It's too dangerous. Uh, not sure what to do now. Guess we didn't find any more clues as to her mother's whereabouts. Damn it, man. How much longer we gotta keep looking for this kid's mom? Hell, we don't even know if she fell down here at all. Well, it is what it is. Let's call it a day and pick up the search tomorrow. I missed my chance to say something to her. But at least I know her name now. Oh, my sweet Maggie. The next day. We. Huh? Sounds like someone's having a good time in there. Uh, Roy? The hell are you doing? Playing horsey. Damn kid threatened to cry if I didn't let her do this to me. Oh, I see. Well then, I'll just keep waiting outside. Come out forever. Come out whenever, I guess. Can we be done now? Nuh-uh. Come on, horsey. Take me all the way over there. Man, what did I ever do to deserve this? So what's on the agenda for today? Oh yeah, so I was thinking. I just heard something fall and I don't know if it was in the game or not. Maybe it'd be a good idea to go check the spot where we found the kid again. I mean, if we can figure out why she ended up there, that might give us some answers. Remember how you got there, kid? Um, something about disposal, I think? Disposal? Is that some, the name of some place you came from or something? Never heard of it. Well, in any event, I still think it would be a good idea to search the area she fell down in. Might find something worthwhile. Let's do it. Hey, hold up a sec. If you ever tell anyone about what you just saw in there, I will murder you. Got that? All right, we're gonna go to the break now. Remember that there is a civil rights movement happening around the country and the wider world. Black Americans, people of color, are fighting for things that shouldn't ever have to be fought for. Things like equal rights, equal treatment of the law, and not be attacked, terrorized, and even murdered by the police. We have listed here the ways that you can help. Except that, of course, one sec, of course, 
our bot turned off the other day and it has not come back online on its own. So that's fun. One sec while I fix this shit. They could at least give me a fucking alert or something when this is going to happen. Very fucking annoying. So, okay, there we go. There's bot currently deactivated because, of course, it is. Now, let's try this again. We have ways listed here that you can help. These include the Bail Fund Network, which helps keep protesters out of jail. The Oprah Project and the Black Trans Travel Fund to help black trans and non-binary people with food, supplies, and travel out of dangerous situations. And, of course, uh, the Black Hills Legal Fund, the Lakota People's Fund to take back their land, the Six Grandfathers, which was stolen by white people, arbitrarily renamed to Mount Rushmore, and then had some white slave owners' faces carved into the side of it. Under the second command are more ways you can help. These are all current campaigns. These are things you can put your time and money towards right now. We're kept up to date by my wives, Emmy and September, Joy. They are uh, September and Remy, all one word in the chat. So please let them know if there's anything else that needs to go here. Black lives matter, the lives of people of color matter, indigenous lives and lands matter, Asian and Pacific Islander lives matter. These are things we've got to keep saying and pushing and fighting for until the people all the way to the very top not only understand and acknowledge them, but work to make them real protected truths. All right, we're going to go to the break. We're going to run some ads. We have no stance on ad blockers. So uh, do with that information as you will, and we will see you back here in just a few minutes.
All right, folks. All right, folks. That's uh, actually going to have to call the stream right here. Something happened. I'll post about it on Mastodon in a bit. Thank you all for coming, and we'll see you next time.